Okay, Ireland's golden visa program has been scrapped as of today. This was actually, in my opinion, probably the best, uh, it was undoubtedly the best uh, residency by investment program in Europe, I mean, by far. And I would put it the very top two probably in, in, the, in the whole world. As far as in Europe, I, it, it was number one in my opinion uh, because it allowed dual citizenship. There was no language test. Uh, you could literally live there under the non-DOM program uh, almost totally tax-free. It had all the negatives, just about everything just taken out. And, uh, and you, you literally didn't have to live there all the time. You could just invest the money in this program and then you know, come and go. Now, obviously, there was time periods that you would have to be there uh, continuous to get the, the passport, but to keep the residency, you didn't have to do anything much uh, uh, other than in investing. Uh, now, things have changed, though, because now it's been totally dropped as of today. Uh, but I'm going to give you an actual uh, option that you can pick, you know, that um, will help, but it's still going to be a little bit more inconvenient than, than going through this process uh, before. Now, this was a program that was offering a visa to non-EU nationals in return for investment in the Republic of Ireland, which now has been scrapped. Applications will no longer be accepted under the Immigrant Investor Program. Um, as of, it's also called the IIP, uh, as of today, Wednesday. Now, this was established in 2012. It offers Irish residency in return for creating jobs. Ireland's Minister for the Justice, Simon Harris, said the scheme had been under review for quite a period of time. Uh, he made the decision having been informed by reports from uh, international bodies and uh, internal and external reviews. Uh, you know, he, uh, evidently they just felt like it wasn't uh, benefiting the country there. Also, folks, if you want to legally get around your income taxes or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button the right of your screen right here and you get new videos automatically as they come out. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com and just ask for some help. All right, now, so-called golden visas are offered to wealthy people from outside the European Economic Community, also called the EEC, in return for investment. Applicants to the Irish programs were required to have a personal wealth of at least uh, 2 million euros. Uh, a similar scheme for foreign investors uh, in the UK ended last year also. Uh, uh, these programs don't last forever, folks. If you want to get into something like this, you really have to hop on them really fast. Uh, I, I see these programs, they, they come and then they go. Now, whether or not they come out with another program with higher limits, because I'm going to show you the limits they had, but there is a program that I'm going to show you a way you can get into Ireland. Uh, it will be different. It will be more inconvenient, but it is an option that you can do other than getting you know, married to a national. Uh, the, the IIP, which now has been scrapped, were required uh, applicants to invest a minimum of uh, 1 million euros for at least three years. Now, alternately, they could uh, offer 500,000 euros as part of an endowment or 400,000 euros as part of a joint endowment uh, to a project which is of uh, uh, public benefit to the arts, sports, health, culture, or education in the, public, uh, in the Republic of Ireland. Now, the funds used for an investment had to be, uh, be from uh, the applicant's own resources. A large number of submissions to the program came from China. Uh, now, Mr. Harris was talking about uh, in, in this uh, uh, program uh, it was establishing for, for a, uh, unprecedented economic difficulty to help stimulate the uh, investment in Ireland. He, he, I think what they felt like the program just wasn't doing enough for Ireland. Uh, a lot of people were just investing the money and weren't, they weren't moving to Ireland and they just really were not contributing. Uh, approximately 1,500 applications currently were on hand, will continue to be considered, uh, and projects that have already been approved under the program will not be affected. So if your application is already in, then, then you should be okay there. The Irish government also operates the Startup Entrepreneur Program, and this is an alternative you can use but you will have more restrictions in this. Also, it's also called the STEP, S-T-E-P. It was established in 2012 as a way for entrepreneurs with an innovative idea to apply for a residence permission in Ireland. Now, this program will be continued. So, you know, if you want to go there as an entrepreneur and work, have a business there, but not just be an investor, 
uh, that is an option. If you want to know more of this program, again, go to our website because we, we do this program. Uh, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you've got a question or comment, put it below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right on your screen right here. You get new videos automatically as they come out. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care, folks.